Hello everybody, I am Jared Ross, a Genie Vlogger, and welcome back to another Professional Genealogist Reacts. On today's video, we will be watching Relative Race Season 8, Episode 4. At this point, Team Red has two strikes, so they get one more strike and they're out. Team Black has one strike, and then Team Green and Team Blue are tied with none. Um, Team Green got the advantage. They won the previous day, so they knew the city they're going to, which is Santa Fe, New Mexico. And then, of course, there's a whole bunch of relatives to meet. So I'm not really going to talk about anything else. But before we do jump into the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. Also, be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications on future videos. But with all that fun stuff said, let's go ahead and watch the video. After three days of travel, our four teams are spread out all across the United States. Team Red is starting in Dayton, Ohio, but with two strikes, there is no room for error. With only one strike, Team Black prepares in Grand Junction, Colorado. Down south, Team Blue begins the day strike-free in Northport, Alabama. And in Clayton, New Mexico, Team Green is already mapping their way to Santa Fe after receiving their destination last night with their third first place prize in a row. Knowing where we're going last night for today uh, really helped us out. We were able to map out everything. Green team, they're doing really, really well. But come on, y'all, like, give somebody else a chance to be right. first. Give somebody else a chance <laughs> to be first. <laughs> I am so blessed to have finally been able to meet you. I feel like this is an amazing, amazing gift that we've received, and I couldn't be more grateful for that. Us too. Us too. Yeah. This has been so exciting. Being here in Grand Junction with our sister Brenda, she's awesome. She is so sweet, and I can't wait to get to know her further. Have you guys seen a picture of your biological father yet? No. no. Never. Okay. Here's oh my goodness. a picture of our mother and our, our biological mom. father. And this is our dog. So does she have the same oh, father? It's amazing. She was so pretty. Poor baby, she was so young. Looking at Arnold, our biological father, that was amazing because yeah. we have never seen uh, a picture of him at all. I definitely see their resemblance from their father. The chin. They both have the chin that he has. You look exactly like him. That's 100% you. you yeah. Look you're, that's your nose. When Brenda gave us a photo of our biological father, I, I saw Christine. She is a spinning image of our biological father. So she looks just like him. What do you know about our biological father, Arnold? I don't know a whole lot about Arnold, okay. but I hope that you can meet him along on your journey. So he's alive. I'm kind of nervous to meet our biological father, Arnold, uh, but excited. It's red team today. Mm. All the way. Mm. Oh, oh we got a text message. Here it goes. Oh, we got a text. Oh, I didn't Technical okay. Team Green, you're not going to Santa Fe. And welcome to day four of Relative Race. Team Red will be traveling to Cincinnati, Ohio. It's our hometown. We're going to get this. Team Blue will be traveling to Byron, Mississippi. Team Black will be traveling to... Uwe Ray? Uwe Ray? Colorado. To Colorado. Still Colorado. Colorado. And Team Green will be traveling to Santa, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Mexico. Today's first place prize is women of GPS. And you may not write down the directions or take a photo. Good luck. Oh, Your time starts no. now. Yo, yo. Come on. No way. Nice to meet you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Okay, guys. So nice. Two rest, Cincinnati. Bye, y'all. Love you. We're going in the wrong direction. I. Hold on. I, we're going, I think we're going in the wrong direction. Okay. We left the house in Grand Junction this morning, and we got out a block away, and I just became completely disoriented to the map. Oof. So, yeah, we went in the wrong direction. Turn around. Okay. As Team Black is lost at the starting line... Our day has started out great. You know what? Yeah. We have just hit every green light on this road. Their competition flawlessly navigates... Could it be a Team Blue win day? You said this is 56? Is it? I don't know. Oh, yes! It is! It is? Okay. It is! Straight to the highway. We on a roll. 
We are supposed to cross North Avenue. Okay, turn around again. I don't know. Now I'm messed up. I okay. don't know. I mean, now okay, I'm like totally, totally disoriented. Calm down. I can turn right here. Do you want me to turn around? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what direction we're supposed to be going in right now. I mean, I don't know. That's fine. That's fine. We'll just, we'll figure this out. It's fine. We literally have been driving in circles all morning. Oh my gosh. Great. It's okay. No, it's not okay. You're like no help reading a map, and I totally freaking I'm trying to drive. Yeah, I know I'm that, but I had to read a map and drive. You wanted to, though. I showed you. I had said, to, you said no. You doing it. That's not true. I felt very confident with reading the map yesterday. I don't know. This is really bad. If we don't find the freeway quickly, this could be a disaster for us. Great. <clears throat> Team Black is still stuck back in town. I was really starting to think Oof. that we were done for, and then suddenly... There's 50, 50 south. I did. Uh. Oh, I'm an idiot. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. Better that they figured it out than having completely stayed lost. I mean, they, they they lost a lot of time, and as we know, a minute could make a difference. You've got mail. Ooh. Uh, All right. Let's see I bet it is. has to do with the pins. Again, right? Yeah. Okay. Is it about the pins? Do we get to know? It is. Why okay. we work so hard? Hi, uh, teams. Yesterday, you went bowling. Curious what your point totals were? Yes. And what that means? Yes. Yes, we are, Dan. Yes, yes. We get a message from Dan, and he's letting us know about the bowling pin challenge from the day before. Who knocked down the most pins? We're going to find out tomorrow. So whatever the pins mean, I hope we get it. If it's good. If it's bad, we don't want it. Was it Team Great Black that one, I think? Well, for the first time on Relative Race, we're giving out additional game day benefit. <laughs> Team Red, I would rather not say, but I guess I have to. You knocked out two. <laughs> wow, we did, we did terrible. Team Green and Team Blue tied with 51. Oh, my gosh. Team Black knocked down 52 pins. Yeah. Good job. Well, that was mostly yes. you. Good job, Christine. Thank you. I need another one. I need another one. Come on. Sick and all. So, congratulations to Team Black. Who finished in first place. You will have five minutes deducted from your overall time. Oh, that's a good benefit. Oh, yeah. I like that benefit. I <laughs> like that one. We to have five minutes off, but we went in circles for a lot more than five minutes. <laughs> it felt like a long time. So, yes, a relief. It still means we have some serious work to Let's do. Let's see if it makes a difference. What are you saying to them? I just said, I said, good job, Team Black, on the bowling. Being adopted at two and a half uh, kind of sets a tone for you. And you, you know, you kind of don't remember a whole lot, but then when your parents get a divorce a year and a half later, it kind of sets a pattern in your life that everybody important in your life kind of leaves. Um, but I had a picture of my biological mom and me as a baby. I was probably a couple months old, and then my half sister was off to the side, and I mean, uh, it got lost or destroyed or something. Hmm. So since I had no information about my birth sister, uh, I would I would love to get that picture replaced. To actually meet the family members in the pictures would be great. If if we found my sister, I would ask her if she remembered me. Um, you know why my birth mom gave me up and then kept my half sister. You know and keeping me until two and a half. She had a good life. Well, that doesn't seem stupid, but did she miss me? What does that say? It says Ure. It says, welcome to Ure. Myra, right there. No, why not? Cincinnati works right here, right here. Oh, yeah. Exit here. Exit there. Park in here. Pull over. Go, 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 oh, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's slow. Yeah, I got it. Ready? No, come here. Come here. Come here. Right there. Oh, it's so high. Hold I know. On. Okay. No, get closer. Get no, no closer. All right, hurry. Went through. Okay. Welcome to Ure. Your challenge is located at Romeo Park at 2100. This is Ohio. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Come on. 
I wonder if anybody's ever watching this who works at one of those businesses and is like, oh my gosh, that's where I work. <laughs> That'd be so funny to just randomly see like your 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 business pop up in a show. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. There it is, there it is. There's a flag, belt, raise. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Punch and punch. Day four's challenge is punch and punch. Teams must correctly answer food-themed trivia to earn punches on the big board. Hidden behind the board are puzzle pieces to assemble. Once all four pieces are found and correctly assembled, the challenge is complete. That's cool. Are you going to do that? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. Ready? What is the most common ingredient to make bread rise? A, yeast, B, A, C, milk, D, butter. Of course, everyone knows that yeast. A, hey, yeast. Final answer. B, A. No. A, right? yeast. Final answer. A. Final, final answer. A, a yeast. yeast. Final answer. Final answer. You got it right. Come on. Let's go. Oh, what was the original filling in Twinkies? This challenge was fun because even if wasn't it right, I was it banana trivia. cream B? Cream. Final answer. Uh, it was banana, banana cream. cream. Yep, that's nasty. Hostess did not make the following product. See, Susie Q. No, no, Swiss rolls. Swiss rolls is the little fat woman. <laughs> little Debbie? I thought it was a little girl. I know my snacks. Yes! I mean, overall, I felt great. I mean, I, I felt confident in the challenge. The first cooking show on television was called Hell's Kitchen, What's for Dinner? Hell's Kitchen, What's for Dinner, Let's Cook, or I Love to Eat. Now, See, all of let's a sudden, cook? we can't find the answers to any of these questions. Hey, final answer. We're getting every oh. single one wrong. D, final answer. A, final answer. Nope. A, final, final answer. Oh. Eating okay. garlic Soft cooking. Provide, which health benefits? So, A, A lowers lower cholesterol. cholesterol. Final answer. Yes, good job. Punch. Punch it, punch it, punch it. Go, 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 go. There it is. Middle this one. one. Uh, oh, no. Nothing. Where are these puzzle pieces at? Uh, did you get nope. it? No. no, this one, this one, this one. And what's the third to Whenever we do get one right, hey, final answer. Go. Okay. We always punch the wrong hole. Nothing. Here. Okay, got it. That one. That one. That one. Done. That was awesome. I love that challenge. It was great. Uh, we just hope it's right. good enough to make the cut. I wonder if they end up winning uh, with that five minutes, you know, benefit. Even though they kind of were screwed up earlier, um, could be a team black day. Woo! Run, run! Or <laughs> could be another Team Green Day. They're knocking it out of the park, too. And they knew what city they were going to. Your relative lives at 731. 3044. Clip, Clip Palace. Palace. Come on, back in the car. Team Blue is going another round. Ooh. Punch and punch. But how many turkeys are saved on Thanksgiving Day in the U.S.? So there's only two spots left. We get the question right. We have a 50 50 chance. For C, final answer. Go. Oh. oh. There is. No puzzle piece. Cool, you just gotta get one more right. Step by step I hate to say it, but if Team Blue ends up getting the strike, it's not gonna be that bad of a thing because then Team Red stays for another day and um, then it kind of even things out because Team Blue, Team Green, they have no strikes at this point. So the kind of hope is that one of them gets it and you know i'm rooting for team green and they're already like doing really well seemingly so if the policemen weren't right where they were it would have taken forever benton benton the pizza hut franchise began in which country oh germany i'm gonna say a final answer a final answer go oh what? <laughs> First of all, we get our last puzzle piece <laughs> wrong uh, on that too long. that was i was so one. wrong your relative lives at 28A North Town Road. Go, 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 go. I just hope we did enough today with navigation that it's not going to cost us a strike. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Is Let's it the go, other go, sister or their father? So we made it to our relative's address. Come on, Christine. Then we knocked on the door and nobody was there. Did you knock? Yeah. Knocked. The wrong house? I kind, of, I kind of panicked. I thought maybe we were at the wrong address, even though we knew we were. What happened? What's going on? <laughs> and we we 
kind of back up from the door because we don't know what to do. And we see a car pulling up in the driveway at the corner of our eye. And we both kind of lean over and look. Uh, somebody just pulled up in the driveway. So we just kind of come down the stairs and, and meet them to say hello. And they were, in fact, our relatives. Hello. Hi. 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 I'm Christine. Hi, Hi Pamela. Hi, Pamela. How are you related to us? Or which one of you is related to us? Uh, I am your cousin on your mom's side. Okay. <laughs> my name's Elise. This is my mom, Kirsten. Hi, Hi Elise. Hi. 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 Can I give you a hug? Yes, of course. Okay. Hi. 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 My name is Elise Francho, and I am Pamela and Christine's cousin. Meeting them for the first time, I was kind of overwhelming. <laughs> and they were just so warm and, you know, gracious and hugging them was like you know it kind of felt like yeah we're family <laughs> so you said cousin on our mom's side yes Diana. yes so we are connected through the brand show line um we actually our family is french canadian so oh, you guys are french canadian oh, <laughs> i knew it yeah. our cousin elise's roots which are now our roots there's a lot of french canadian um heritage which we think that's awesome if that's if they had french canadian heritage then that means whoever was doing their dna was dealing with endogamy and they probably had a ton of dna matches um just because people who come from endogamous populations get tons of matches honestly every time we pull up to an address i'm jittery like who is i'm excited hi how y'all doing how you doing I'm Jarrell. I'm Amani. I'm Aaron. I'm Michael. Uh, whose relative are you? We're yours, Jarrell. And we're your brothers. <gasps> so y'all on, y'all on my mom's side. Yeah. Well, our mom's side. <laughs> I can say that, man. Yeah. Wow. He looks a lot like his brother That's with the dreads. Wild. I just felt it in my heart that, wow, I got a big brother. Like, finally, like, finally, he's here. Like, uh, I couldn't imagine any other time in my lifetime better than this time now. Ooh. <laughs> where you, where you grew up at? Cincinnati. Man, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Man, this is the best moment of my life. <laughs> I have two brothers, and it's like, wow. Words can't even describe how happy They I look am. so much alike. It's something that I would have never imagined because I didn't know that I even had siblings out there. It just blew my mind. So who, who told y'all about me? Uh, actually, it's it's been a long time. I've been looking since I was about 10, 12 years old. Uh, our mom had your social security card. So that's how I knew that something wasn't right and I had to go searching. So my brother, Michael, had been searching for me uh, since he was young. And I feel like all the love from my heart went to theirs and all their love from their heart came to mine. I definitely have love. It's it's like big. To have them right in front of me, it was like, what what else could I ask for? <laughs> it was like a piece to an unsolved puzzle. We all got the same mom. When was the, when was the last time you talked to her? Uh, what's today? Sunday? Dang, it was recently. It was no, recently. Today's Friday? <laughs> today's Friday. Wednesday. Wow. wow. So it, it hasn't been long. <laughs> Yeah. My brothers confirmed to me that, for one, my mother's still alive, and also that they have recently talked to her, and they keep in contact. Uh, getting to the relative's house was not so good. It's, if we're headed this direction... Do you know where we're going? Is this going to help us? Do you know where I'm you're down. going? No, I don't. Okay, then let's... Don't get upset, okay? I feel like this is the first time we've struggled so far. Like, and then we got a little... It's the first time I've seen this him struggle. Right no, this is not Northtown Road. This is Northtown Drive. Okay. We are not on Northtown Road. I just can't get the thought of how our day went out the back of my head. But you want to take a right here, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so that's fine. You need to calm down, though. Over there. All right. You want to run in and ask? You want me to run in with you? What's you the address? 
Take a pencil. I got a pen, baby. Get out of the car. Can you hold on a second? Thank you. You got his instructions? Yeah. Hey. You know, the adrenaline starts pumping real fast. And then your mind just gets slippy floppy. But we squash it real fast. Go on. Go on. It's right here. Where is it? It's right here. This is going to be 29. This is going to be 28 right here. 28. Right here. Oh, right here. here it is. Here it is. <laughs> all right, let's get out. Does that bug you though? That a little bit, because they've been sitting here all day waiting. That's okay. You're gonna, you're gonna have the rest of your life to have a relationship with this person. Okay. When we pulled up to the house, it was a big sigh of relief, but at the same time, we were still beating ourselves up. It's been a long day, we had a hard challenge, and I don't know what to expect. Hi. Hi. Oh. I'm Jonathan. This is my wife, Kaylee. Hi. I'm Trevor. Nice to meet you, Trevor. So, who are you related to? I'm related to you. How are we related? I'm your brother <laughs> on your dad's side. <laughs> So there's another brother on the dad's side. I thought the other brother had said it was just like two of them, but maybe there's more brothers out there that not all of them know of each other. I wish you could feel my heart. I can feel your heart. I really, really, really wonder what the story is here because there seems to be some sort of story behind all of this that like i don't know some some sort of interesting family dynamic which i really wonder you know will we find that out in one of the upcoming episodes because i mean he has these multiple brothers but it seems like some of them were closer than the others at least from the story we had then he had a sister on his mom's side but that sister looked after his cousin from his dad's side so his dad's side knew the mom's, you know, so like what was going on with all of that? So. <laughs> I can literally feel it. Um, it's crazy. I see it, you and all of us. <laughs> I think he looks, mo they look most yeah, alike JT's so far. Brother on his father's side. Of the, of the three brothers. I saw JT at the doorstep. I knew right away he was a Birkin. And I knew right away he was going to fit in right there wasn't no doubt in my mind that was my brother. <laughs> so, how old are you? I'm 21. I'm going to be 22. Oh, wow. Ooh, we're going to be his brother. <laughs> yep. So, what do you do? Commercial air conditioning. All right, cool. Yeah. You're, in, you're in Jackson. Okay, really? Yeah. Hey, man, we're so close. <laughs> so, where are you at? I'm at Brandon. Brandon, man. Well, I used to live in Brandon. It's did, crazy. Did you really? Yeah, Brandon, Pearl. Man, I grew up in Pearl. <laughs> That's so wild. There the whole time. Didn't mm -hmm. even know it. You've just been right here too, up under my nose. Oh, oh my gosh. Sister. When I first saw this lady walk toward me, and I'm noticing, you know, that we look the same in the eyes, I'm pretty sure that she's going to be related pretty closely to me. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm Steve. This is my wife, Susan. Hi. Um, who are you and how are you related to us? I'm Jennifer Mackey and I'm your sister. You're my sister. <laughs> we look alike. Yes. <laughs> it's very nice on, to meet you. On my mom's side? Yes, Charlie. Can I have another? Yes, I'm cold. <laughs> I'm so cold. <laughs> I am Jennifer Mackey. I am Steve's sister, and we have the same mother. The moment she said that her name was Jennifer, I knew that she was my sister. I feel like I knew it before that, but hearing you say it made it real. I didn't want to jinx it or something. I mean, there's not even words for... Joy? The fulfillment that I see on, on his face. You knew about me, right? I did. I did. I had a picture of when I was a baby and you were a little bit older than me. Yes, and mom was in the picture as well. Yep. And she had a nice fro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had that picture for a long time and I lost it. It's been um, <sighs> a lot of years of wondering. Yeah. For me, you know, it, you know, I was young. You were there and you weren't there kind of thing. And yeah. I didn't know anything until years later. 
and found the picture that you obviously have as well. So that's when I started asking questions. Ah. Pretty much when Stephen was adopted out at the age of two to three, I always struggled with that fact. And then having this realization that he's out there and and I get him, you know, I get him today. I get to meet him today. It, it kind of completes everything. It kind of makes everything more solid. Jarrell sits down with his brothers, Aaron and Michael. My, my first question, uh, your name's Jarrell? Yeah. We thought your name was J Gerald. So like, and then a D. And then a D? And then a D. So J-E-R-E-L-D? Mm -hmm. I found out that my brother Michael had been searching for me, but since my adopted mom changed my name, he was looking for the wrong name. That's why we couldn't find him, and I'm, I'm glad we got him here now. What did you guys think his whole name was? Gerald Thomas Lee. Lee. Yeah, it got changed completely then, because now my name is Jarrell Cody Scott. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. My biological mother. She ever mentioned me? Oh, yeah. Funny. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, Funny yeah. For <laughs> oh, what's your name? I'm telling you, like, she would cry sometimes at night just because you wasn't there. Like, really? this was when we were young. Like, that's, that's wild. The fact that I know that they actually were looking for me and thinking about me and I would come up in conversation, you know, it's, it's pretty heartwarming. So there's more siblings? Like, how many more siblings? Uh, there's actually one, one more. more. One more? And that's the sister. sister. Her name's Sierra Brown. Um, yeah, that's crazy how y'all know about me and I was just lost in, in the dark. dark. <laughs> in the dark. More see. pieces to the puzzle oh, being yeah. put together. Mm -hmm. It's it's a lot of pieces to the puzzle. <laughs> I meet two brothers today, and now I find out that I have a biological sister, and it's like this. These are the siblings that I've always wanted. But we, before we get into dinner, uh, we actually got some place to be. Ready to head out? Yeah, let's go. All right. Mom was not able to care for us the way she needed to. Right. Um, and she was lucky enough to have a family friend or a co-worker, who I do believe is your, your adoptive parent, right. um, take on that responsibility. Um, and in return, I too couldn't be taken care of by her. So okay. I went to my dad. Um, okay. And um, I don't believe your father was aware of you. I don't believe he was. And so she didn't have that option to reach out to him. I mean, at the very least, I was hoping that, you know, if, um, you know, giving me up for adoption, at least it was, would have been able to give you a better life with her. But it sounds like you still had to go to your dad. Yeah, I went to my dad most of the time. Yeah. And I didn't have a relationship with mom for a long time. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It took a long time for me to understand as a child right what was going on and how right. how to comprehend my mom didn't want me you know as a young child that's what you're thinking right. i have something that i think you'll appreciate um when she passed she wrote this letter to you and i'll let you read it <sighs> steven i love you very much and i want you to be happy I hope you will understand why I did. I lost you April 4th, 1984. Just to know that after all those years that she still loved me and thought about me, just that it means the world to me. If my mom would have had the opportunity to connect with Steven, she would have been crying nonstop, um, hugging him. She wouldn't have let him go. But if she would have been able to just say hi, that would have just made her day. I am also curious if his sister knows why the mother didn't know her family. She had the Philbrook name, but from what we've learned from him meeting all of his other relatives, they didn't know her. Even his, you know, his uncle, her half brother had no clue about her until he came into the picture. So I wonder if he will learn that story as well as we continue. We're really excited to meet you and learn a little bit more about you and obviously share um, some of our family history with you. 
When Christine and I walked in our relative's house, uh, we began to immediately just share some history. My dad, uh, Blaise Brancho, put this together. It's just sort of an introduction <laughs> to the ancestry of Marion Dorothy Brancho. So your great grandmother. But, and that's a labor of love. That's <laughs> very much. <laughs> Here's uh, your great great grandmother on her wedding day. That's her husband, Alton. I just like love like, this. The like wedding dresses, like yeah, all in black. black. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, so that's 1920. It is really cool to realize that there's so much history and so much depth. And this is all, you know, stuff from obituaries that we've found, right. um, where you can kind of see more. It just gives it more and more meaning as the days go by about where we came from, because that's yeah. something we've never known. So, um... I think I, I think I got somebody I want to introduce you to. My brother Trevor tells me he wants to introduce me to somebody, and he pulls out a photo album. Would you like to, would you like to put a face to your dad? Oh yeah, he hasn't seen yeah. a picture, has he? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you look through him. That's his big self up yeah. there. <laughs> First and only. Finally, getting to put a face with all the stories. It's just sense of relief to see where you come from and to see the person that created you it's beautiful it's finally see the pieces of the puzzle all connecting you sure we used to be a looker what do you think it's crazy to see it for sure see a lot of anthony there <laughs> yeah i see a lot of everybody mm -hmm. goodness <laughs> With the situation of you being so young and not knowing how mom grew up, I was able to find in her little red box a lot of good pictures of her. I thought it was important for Stephen to see she had a timeline. You know, she just didn't stop living. It was just really important for him to see all those moments. This is her in first grade. Oh, okay. To be able to have that history. Um, to be able to look at the stages of, you know, how she grew up. It's, um, it's just amazing. We had um, Christmas with her in 2014, and that was the last Christmas we were able to have with her. Literally two weeks after that, she was in the hospital. So she went from... Not to that. Not feeling great, and then three weeks later, gone. Mm -hmm. At least it was quick, right? It was, and I have. This is her. And on her last day. So I just wanted to make sure that I had something for myself, but this is for you. So I think this is the one that you remember. And I'm not sure if it's the smiles that you remember or. <laughs> oh my goodness. Getting that photo of me and my sister and my mom that I lost a long time ago was um, really important to me. It's the only picture that my mother and my sister and me are in all together. And um, in a way, it's almost like we're all together again. Ready? Here it is. Yeah, I'm ready. When Michael told me that he had a surprise for me, he told me that he had a song that he had made about an older brother that he had never met. Uh, I wrote this song about two years ago. It's just basically me describing uh, this brother I never met. Um, me telling myself, basically, um, you know, I'm ready to be by your side. And I hope you like it. I hope you like it. shared the song with him it was like magic it was like fireworks going everywhere because i've been holding this in and now i get to let it out to him i don't know if michael knows how much that song it meant to me because he never met me i never met him but the fact that he has been looking for me for so long and he created a song about it it really means something to me I ain't gonna lie, man. Hey, that song was lit. <laughs> hey, I appreciate it, man. Always, always. As long as I'm here, I'm gonna be right here. Team Black.
You guys had some challenges today. We knew where we were going. We had it. It didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. No, it's not okay. I'm not Magellan. I can't look at the sun and be like, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Now I'm messed up. You're like, no help reading a map. And I totally freaking I'm trying to got it. <laughs> Pam, wh why didn't it happen? You guys just drove around in circles to start the day. I mean, it's a beautiful city. We wanted to see it twice. Or three times. Or three times. Team Blue, that brings me to you. What happened at Hunch and Punch? Every single um, one of the things that we punched out had no puzzle piece in it. Literally, we punched out every single one by the end of it. Oh. Here we are at the end of day four, and we're going to find out who finished in first and who picks up a strike. I can tell you this. It was incredibly close across the Again! Board. By far, this has been the closest time between all of the teams. First place finished 11 minutes over their allotted time. Immediately, Team Black. stomach drops, and I'm just going to have preparing for that strike. Finishing team in first Black? place and picking up the first place prize of having navigation at some time tomorrow, probably when you need it most. And how appropriate... Because Team Red, you went from worst. Oh, to wow. Worst. There you go. They needed that, too. What a day. You guys really had smooth sailing. Congrats. Woo. They're going to stick around for at least another day. <laughs> yes. The difference between first place and second place was one minute. Finishing 12 minutes over their allotted time and safe team blue congratulations i am surprised honestly i thought team blue was getting that strike i honestly thought that hearing that we got second i almost couldn't believe it and thought maybe i misheard him <laughs> but no we we got second and i could not be happier the difference between third place and last was two minutes. Oh. When it came down to either us or Team Green taking the strike, I was holding my breath. I was very anxious. That five-minute thing really made a difference. One minutes over their allotted time. The other team finished 17 minutes over their allotted time. Team Black, whatever your time was, five minutes was deducted because you won the bowling challenge yesterday. And that was the difference. You finished in third place. <gasps> 15 minutes over your allotted oh, time. Wow, Team, Team Green gets their strike. And the problems finding your relative cost you dearly. You picked up your first strike on relative race. Wow. It, it's, it's funny. Team Blue has not won a single day, but at this point, they're in the lead. Remember, it was worth it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Woo. Didn't get a strike. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's it. Uh, <laughs> just okay, the first green. <laughs> okay, so that was a great episode again. Um so happy to see Team Green meeting a sister. Uh, so happy Team Red meeting brothers. Team Blue meeting another brother. And then Team Black getting to meet cousins who were into the genealogy. So they knew all of the, you know, historical type of stuff. You know, my kind of people. <laughs> I think for me, a lot of the big questions I have are really kind of, you know, question marks with the different stories so like with team blue he has these brothers then he has a sister through his mother's side but then there seems to be some sort of connection there somehow because then he has a cousin on his father you know his paternal side that was raised by his sister from his mom's side so they obviously knew each other and then when they showed him that photo of his father 
the girl that was with his father looked a lot like him. So then it makes me wonder, was that girl his mom or maybe his sister or maybe some other relative from his mom's side? And there's something going on where his dad's side and his mom's side were really close. And and then I'm also curious still with Team Green, with his mother, you know, she didn't really grow up with her father's family. So did she know her father's family? She had their name. They obviously didn't know her, at least her sibling and the cousins didn't. But did her father know about her? Um, you know, I, I wonder if any of these questions will be answered. And now with Team Black learning about their father, Arnold, um, that's going to be really interesting to see. Is he going to be a guest on on this season? I, I'm hoping so. I mean, they mentioned him, so you would think that he will be. But... I guess we'll just have to see. Well, thank you so much for checking out this video. I do hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe. It is completely free to do so. If you'd like to get access to my content early or even get access to exclusive content, be sure to become a patron of mine on Patreon. And not only will you be helping out the channel, but you'll also be getting all of that fun access. And then if you'd like to follow me, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at Genie Vlogger. I'm the Genie Vlogger. See you in my next video.